Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech. A while back I did a video about the Ugreen USB 3 to SATA free adapter. After that video, a few of the viewers actually asked me to do a comparison between the speeds while the SSD is connected internally in the computer and while it is connected with the Ugreen adapter. So finally, after a long time, I could get an SSD for testing from my friend and we will do the comparison of the speeds today. Now before we begin, if you didn't watch the Ugreen adapter video, you can click here to watch this video or in the description of this video below. Ok, so now that we have an SSD, let's first um, open our computer and put the SSD inside. Now, <laughs> I'm not moving actually the computer from its own place, so it will be a little bit hard and maybe dusty, but I'm trying to film it that way. Hopefully it will be good enough. So we have the SSD, so we have a special place for the SSD in our case, but I believe I won't be using that for now. Anyway, um, let's plug first our SATA cable, plug it to the SSD. And we do need to find some power. Let's hope we have something spare here, somewhere. Okay, so I do have some cable for power, but it's only one and it's pretty at the top here, so I guess we will have to sort of plug it here somehow. Let's try to move it maybe from this side. Yeah, okay, so sadly our SSD will be sort of hanging in the air, but that's good enough since we are only testing it once for speed and that's it and then we will continue. So now let's power on our computer and check what we've got. Okay, so now our SSD is in our computer, connected with SATA directly to the motherboard. Now, we will use Crystal Disk Mark and we'll check the speed both while it's inside the motherboard and when connected to the Ugreen USB 3 to SATA free adapter. So, let's first of all choose our SSD, which is named Q. I did format the SSD because there were some files that my friend left, but that's not really important. Okay, so I sadly don't know well enough that up, so I'm going to use all the different settings here. So let's hit all and see what we'll get. So those are the final results when our SSD is connected directly in the computer, directly to the motherboard. And now we'll move to the test while our SSD is connected to the Ugreen USB 3 to set a free adapter. Okay, now let's go ahead and connect our SSD through the adapter. So we will connect the adapter and we will connect the SSD through the adapter. So before we continue this, I want to mention one thing. I accidentally didn't notice and connected the SSD with the Ugreen adapter with a USB 2 port and not a USB 3. So now that I reconnected it to USB 3, we can finally do the test. I mean, USB 2 is always slower, obviously it will be our bottleneck. Now let's go ahead and check the USB 3 and then compare the results. Okay, our test is now finished. And those are the results when the SSD is connected with the Ugreen adapter. So, let's open our previous results and see what we've got. Ok, so what we can see here is that in the photo are the results when the SSD was connected directly to the motherboard. And those are the results when the SSD is connected to the Ugreen adapter. So, what we can learn from this is that the read speeds obviously got slower on the Ugreen adapter. 
that's kind of obvious. But on the right speeds, we do see something very, very strange. On some particular tests, the right speed actually got faster with our U Green adapter. Now, not everything is perfect as you can see, not everything got faster on the right speeds, but we do see that even the read speeds actually, they are not much different. I mean, yeah, you do lose some speed when the SSD is connected to the U Green adapter, but with USB 3, the speeds are almost identical and you shouldn't have any problem using it with a U-Green adapter instead of putting the SSD internally. Now again, it doesn't mean that I suggest to use the SSD for your, for example, operating system while it is connected with the U-Green adapter. Obviously, don't do that. You should always tend to use your internal connectors and not on an adapter. With an adapter, it's always higher chances that it will fail or the speeds will get much slower. And obviously, you don't want to do that with your operating system, for example. But for file storage, on some cases, the u -green adapter is a perfect idea, especially if you have a laptop. So in conclusion, you can use freely your SSD or even hard drive with the u -green adapter without losing too much speed. Guys, before I finish this video, I have a few things to mention. First, YouTube has demonetized our channel for now, and the reason for that is that we don't have enough subscribers. So in order to get monetized on YouTube and receive money, etc., which I did for a while, you do need from now on to have at least 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time for the last 12 months, which we do have. So we do lack of about 140 subscribers or so. So if you're not subscribed yet, or if you know anyone that is interested in tech, security and everything what I do here on this channel, please let them know and ask them to subscribe as well. So they will be able to follow us and also help us to grow as well. Another thing before I go is Instagram. If you want, you can follow me now on Instagram. Yes, I did fall to that as well. Basically, I don't use it for the channel specifically, I just take some photos and share them there, uh, including Facebook and other platforms. Uh, so I do tend to share some cool pictures around, uh, just views, landscape. Uh, if I travel, I try to post more as well. Nothing specific to the channel or any tech-related stuff, but I'll try also to post some notifications about new videos on the channel on Instagram. So keep in mind that you can follow me uh, on Instagram as well if you'd like. And now we can finally finish this video. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.